Hello, 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 hello. My name is Claire. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Cool Claire A S M R. So, for today's video, I will be showing you my makeup. But first, I want to show you my outfit today. So, I'm wearing this green sweater vest with one, two mushrooms on it with matching mushroom and crystal earrings. And I have been very into mushrooms lately, like a lot of other people. So I am very delighted by my outfit today. All right, let's get into it. First up, I have this cardboard box and it originally was the packaging for the Mickey Mouse X Keith Haring Stance Sock Collection and I got it for a gift and I decided to keep the box because it is super cool with this art on the front. With some crazy drawings of Mickey Mouse done by Keith Haring and the little Andy Warhol mouse at the top. But mostly, I kept the box because these little sections where the socks were are quite functional for storing all my random essential makeup items. So, in the first section here, I have a blush brush my mascara, eyelash curler, and some tape. In the next section, I have my makeup brushes, all my other ones. And these are just the e.l.f. brand from Target. And then a little, like, blush sampler. I haven't tried it yet. And then in this one, I have all my eyeliners. So I have this like feather calligraphy kind of liquid eyeliner and then I have some like pencil liners, cover girl, and then I have a few eyeliners from Lady Gaga's makeup. I haven't tried this liquid one yet, but I used this purple pencil liner in my last video to make that makeup look, if you saw that one, but it's a nice purple, big fan of that. And then in this last section here, I just have some miscellaneous items. So like eyelash glue, again, more like single eyelash or single eyeshadow samplers. And then I have these lipsticks that I want to show you. So let me take those out really quick and set this down. So what I have here is the MAC X Keith Haring Lipstick Collection. So it came with three different shades, red, blue, and yellow. And I've tried the red and the blue, and I quite like them. I haven't used the yellow yet because it's quite a unique color for a lipstick, and I'm not sure how it'll look yet. I wanted to have the full collection, so I went ahead and got it. So, but I'll use it eventually. Maybe as eyeshadow, I think. Anyway, I'll show you the blue. So this one's called Canal Blue, and on the inside has some Keith Haring artwork as well. And then of course, the lipstick itself has a bunch of art on it. And there's that lovely blue shade. So that's everything in the first container. Let's get into 
another lipstick collection that I have, which pretty much is all the lipsticks I have then. I have this Sophia Nygaard X ColourPop collection that comes with one, two, three, four, five, six different lipsticks. So the shades are Bikini Bottom, Mrs. Norris, Bury Me in Lipsticks, Fred, Screamer, and Brucey. My favorites are Fred and Screamer. And I don't really like nude lipsticks on myself as much, but I do appreciate her for giving a whole range of different colors. So on the front here, it just says Sophia Nygaard X Color Pop. And it has this bat motif on the front little transparent screen peeking in on the lipsticks. So this just opens up like that. And the lipsticks are in their own little section in there. So let's look at one together. So this is Bury Me in Lipsticks. And again the bat imagery is continued and then if you look on the actual lipstick itself there's little bats as well so those were the first like regular traditional lipsticks that I've ever gotten and I quite like them they're very like smooth and comfortable to wear so also from ColourPop, I have the Animal Crossing Complete Makeup Collection. In one of my recent videos, I showed some of the pieces from that, but I'm going to go ahead and show you all of them today. We have a little visitor. Annie, come here. Come here. Annie, come here. I have my dog here. She is very nervous and doesn't know what to do right now while I'm filming because we're not glued at the hip. So if you hear um, some like walking around, it's probably her just wandering around seeing what I'm doing. Hi, baby. <laughs> All right. Go on. So I also kept the box for this one because it's super cute and so you open it up and there's this little speech bubble from Tom Nook himself <laughs> that says I had these made especially for island residents and it has the little New Horizons leaf on it so there's all the goodies in there so let's look at these together. So first I have the eyeshadow palettes. And it comes in this little like sleeve with all of them with all the little characters that are featured on the palettes. So there are four different palettes. Let's take a look at each of them. So first up I have what a Hoot with Celeste and Blathers on it. And the colors are a nice like brown and gold bronzy color. So some very wearable shades in that palette. Next up I have La Belle of the Ball, which is the Abel Sisters palette. And this one's one of my favorites because of the purple so you can see there's like some silvery purple colors and some darker I like this dark purple color here and this light silvery shade there then we have Nook Incorporated so this is the one that I was wearing in my most recent video with the kind of turquoisey green colors and then last but not least, 
I have Five Star Island featuring Isabel. And in this palette, obviously, there's a lot of pink shades. And there's also this nice sparkly yellow gold color. Okay. Next up, I have the lip tints. So there is one for each fruit featured in the New Horizons game. So apple, cherry, peach, orange, coconut, and pear. And when you first get on your island, there is a um, designated fruit. On my island, it was a pear. And my favorite is these shades because they are darker. So those are those. The coconut's my favorite, this kind of like darker brown color. So that's the parent coconut. And these are just a lip tint. Um, that's what I'm wearing today. I'm actually wearing both the cherry and the coconut together. And I've been wearing it for a while, so it's like pretty much gone all the way. But it just adds, you know, a nice little color to your lips without like a super overpowering look because sometimes um, lipstick can really take over a makeup look, so this is more subtle. Of course, the apple and the cherry are red, and you can see which fruit it is by the cap. That is just like the fruits in the game. And last but not least, I have the peach and the orange. And I think the lip tints are my favorite, just packaging and just like use-wise. I just think they're so cute. So these are kind of another more neutral brown orangey color as well. I'm a little disappointed they didn't try to go for a green lipstick for the pair, but that's okay. Okay, so... Next, I have the blush. So there's two of those. A very pink one and then a more orangey tone. I'm wearing the this one today. So Flower Tender and Flower Power. So let's open this up. Just the packaging is so adorable. Looks like that has the nice flower pressed into the powder there. And then, I believe I showed this one in my other video, but I will show you again. There's that. And you can see I've used this one more definitely, but it has the flower in there as well. Okay. And then, last but not least, I have a couple like eyeshadows. So this is Bellionaire and this is Balloon Pop. So like the bell bags and this is like a nice shimmery um, glitter eyeshadow. Let's see. Ooh, that's so pretty. This is a very like chunky glitter so you only need you only need a little bit and it will dazzle up any eye look and then i have this balloon pop which looks like the little gifts that float by in the balloons and i swear i like rip this a little bit every time i try to open it let's see i got the pattern on the inside and this is another shadow and it's a nice bronze color and it says it's got the little cruelty free bunny on there i would hope so for the animal themed game <laughs> 
So that's everything for the Animal Crossing X Color Pop collection. I have two two more palettes to show you, and that will be everything. I don't have that much makeup, but I do like try to use everything, you know. So anyway, these last two are very similar, but they're super cool, so I wanted to show them both. And I got these for Christmas as well. So no, it's not paint. It's actually makeup. P A I N T. So this is the Glam Light Cosmetics um, paint palette. You open it up, and it looks like that. And it came with a brush, which I used once, and then the shade like never came out of it so not the this isn't the highest quality makeup ever but it is super cute so that's what that looks like and you can like hold it like paint so like I said, these aren't the most high quality ever. They don't blend super well. Perfect for using like a nice solid color. But I mainly use this for like fun, vibrant colored eyeliner. Like today I have the green from the other palette as my eyeliner. But you can see there's just so many different colors and some sparkling ones. And they're pretty, the names of them are pretty basic, like lime, tangerine, like just the color names. Nothing too creative there, but it is supposed to emulate paint, so I get that. And then for the other one, the larger palette came in this box that opens up like this. And again, came with a single brush that's not very good. <laughs> um, redeems itself with cuteness for sure. And I like the whole connection of, you know, makeup and art and that sort of thing. Painting your face and whatever. So the color I use for my eyeliner today is that green there. And this one again has lots of vibrant colors that are, you know, slightly different from the mini palette here. So there's both of them together. But I am super in love with these, think so adorable. And again, my most used is that <laughs> purple. <laughs> All right, guys, that is all the makeup that I want to show you today. I hope that you enjoyed and are inspired to do some creative makeup with some crazy colors like this. <laughs> all right. Thank you so, so much for watching and have a good day. Good day. Good day. Good night.